It's breathtaking. A connection to the past that's provided everything needed for the Inuit, Métis, and Dene people who call this land home. But at present, it's under threat. And the resiliency of youth whose future depends upon immediate action is being tested. And I feel like if I didn't have that connection with the land, I wouldn't know who, who I am. I'm terrified of what the future is going to hold. I feel like if more people were to actually come up here and see what we've seen, they might actually start to believe that climate change is affecting everyone's way of life. A dozen youth are here in the Beaufort Delta Northwest Territories for a week-long climate change summit run by not-for-profit Ecology North. I've never been to something like this, but like we're actually on the land and learning from the land. Their reasons for being here are personal. I'm scared for other people and myself. I don't want to do something that's like that'll hurt the land, you know, and make it happen faster. I want to be able to kind of like help heal the land. Each want to learn how they can adapt and inspire youth and leaders to form solutions for a changing landscape. Like lately I've been always hearing like climate change this, climate change that is because climate change like and like it's being such a big topic now and in my own community and a lot with like um, the water and um, on the land has changed. Um, so I, I really want you to be inquisitive and, and curious. And, and not it's a lot to take in. Questions. Scientists have confirmed that the Arctic is heating twice as fast as the global average. As sea ice and permafrost melt, it's become an all-out war on the vulnerable ecosystems. And the consequences are being felt worldwide. Like as a geologist, we were taught that climate change happens naturally. But that's over millions of years, and the rate that's going at is a lot of it's to do with us. Are we actually doing enough or taking the initiative to talk about it and to do and to take action about climate change? And time is of the essence. In 2018, the territory set a goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 30 percent come 2030. But it came after much criticism. In 2017, Canada's Auditor General found the NWT government reliant on patchwork approaches and failed to act on the problem of climate change on many levels. A collective commitment will mean a change in the cost of living and energy security for the territory. Input on how to adapt may even come from the young leaders at this summit. I would like the government to take more responsibility. Yes, Trudeau sort of did the plastic, single-use plastic ban that's going to go in effect, but right after he signed off a thing for a pipeline. Tomorrow on APTN National News, we'll hear what changes youth are experiencing on the land. And it was one of two huge sites down there where they had, you know, hundreds of people living there. And learn how Western science is racing to protect invaluable histories before they melt away. Charlotte Mort Jacobs, APTN National News, Inuvik.